to look at a scatter plot of life expectancy uh, at birth versus GDP per capita at countries around the, of the world. So first we're going to consider the graph. Would you say there is a strong, moderate, or weak correlation between life expectancy and GDP per capita? And uh, you can kind of answer this, you know, whatever you think is best, but this is my opinion. So here's the trend line. A lot of the dots are somewhat close to the trend line, but we do have a couple big outliers, so I do not think it's strong. And because they, they're, most of them do lie pretty close, I would say this is moderate, because the majority of the dots do fall pretty close to the actual line. So I would say there is a moderate relationship uh, correlation. It's positive, right? The graph is going up, so it's a positive relationship. Um, it's not really, it, it's probably closer to weak than it is to strong, but I, I personally, my opinion, would call it moderate. What's the scope of the model? Well, we're looking at X values, right? So we're starting, and these look pretty close to zero dollars. I'm sure nothing is zero, but it's pretty close. And then we have Qatar over here, which I think looks to be about 145,000. That is a really high GDP per capita, like super, I mean, here's the U.S., and we do pretty well um, overall. You know, we're mid-60s, pretty close to 70, and that's pretty good. 145 is, is, is pretty high, and that's an estimate, right? I'm estimating that 145. Um, should we use the model to predict life expectancy beyond 150,000? Well, Qatar is by itself at about 145. Luxembourg is the next closest at 102. Nothing else. So two countries are above 100,000. So beyond 150, no. We don't have enough data to really show that we can be accurate predicting out here. Um, I don't even know that we're really very, very accurate at the 100,000 mark. So thinking about 150, we're definitely not. I mean, look at Qatar over here, where it's at. The, the graph going up, I mean, if you think about it, it's not even, we don't even see the life expectancy of what it should look like with Qatar. That's how not good that one is. Maybe I should change my first answer to weak at this point. Huh. Maybe, maybe not. What is the linear model or the equation for this line? And it's right here. It's y equals 0.0002x plus 66.819. So for every, um, I guess, dollar you go up, that your life expectancy goes up 0 0.00002 years, which is not very much. Use the linear model, that's this, to estimate life expectancy when x is 102,000. So we're kind of talking about Luxembourg here. So we're going to plug in 102,000 for x, because x is the number of dollars. Now, when I do that, all right, we multiply this piece first, and we get 20.4, and then we're going to add the 66.819, and we get a life expectancy of 87.219 years. So that's what this line gives us. And how does that compare to the actual of Luxembourg? Well, if we take Luxembourg, we go over here. They're roughly, I don't know, I would guess their actual is closer to maybe 80, 82 or 83, right? This is what their actual appears to be. And the estimate up here is roughly 87 and some change. So the actual life expectancy of Luxembourg is maybe four or five years less than the predicted based off of um, the linear model. Oh, and that's it.